I don't know how many of you guys know this, but Carbon Spikes was bugged. This happened in update 38.0. Ninja K, we gave it a buff where the main attack would get plus 5 pierce on all its spikes. Not the abilities, however, uh, apparently they messed up somewhere and it does indeed work on the ability. So all this time, the Carpus Spikes was just much, much stronger, and it somehow flew over my head. As you see, the 61,000 damage would have been likely closer to 40, had it not been bugged. Because this turns the Pierce, I believe, from 10 to 15 on all spikes. So definitely not a nothing burger of a bug. That's for sure. And I think it's only fitting that we try to showcase the bugged Carpus Spikes on a Chimps map. A Chimps Advanced map. See how viable it is, and if it is, which it likely is viable, how hard can it carry? I heard it's pretty nuts. It's likely gonna be the hardest part saving up for Carpus Spikes in the first place. Also, I forgot how you beat around 6 again. Okay, how about a Dart Monkey and a Druid then? The Druid, I can basically turn into a 030-130. That makes her early game pretty much unbeatable. And now I think once I get 380 again, I'll go for the Sniper, which is Green Peninsula, with the Global Range, and then try to save for Psy. I think when you go Carpus Spikes, you basically want to go for stuff that deletes a good amount of RBE. RBE is standing for Red Balloon Equivalent. I've probably used that term in multiple videos before, and some people probably don't know what it is. Basically, it's just the, well, the Red Balloon Equivalent, for lack of a better explanation. Or rather, how many Red Balloons it, like, how many pops slash damage it'll take? So, aka, a ZMG is 16,000 RBE. AKA, you need to pop 16,000 Red Balloon Equivalents to equal the damage of a ZMG, if that makes any sense. But size good, as I said earlier, to basically one-shot blimps. Clear out a big chunk of balloons and then thus let our Carbon Spikes deal with the rest. Also, I bought one 010, just have a front of 10. And I think with 010, I can get Psy in the middle of this round. Lovely. And now with that, we should get a jungle with the Druid very soon. Uh, not these group of greens have something to say about it. Okay, maybe... Maybe it's worth it just going 1-1-0. I will... I guess see. I mean, should very easily beat it. Just, uh, I don't know if... Getting that now it will... Cost me... Like, for later rounds, and it didn't even work. Hold up real quick. Does size stun reach? Okay, it does. That's good. Now, that should allow us to beat this round easily. I just don't know if I... I probably might need this enough for 19 or 20. Big yikes, if so. Let's see, can we hold though? Can we hold? Okay. B round 20 and uh, Jungle of the Druid is ours. Nice. Wasn't the worst save up in the world, but now that we got basically the auto win for the early game, we can start building our Spike Factory in the back. As I said, save up for the Spike Factory is going to be kind of annoying because uh, it, it's it's a huge power spike, obviously, from Spike Storm to Carper Spike. So you got like no actual blue defense with, with Spike Storm to now actually... I think you could pretty much have Carpus Spikes be your main DPS. Given again, if this bug is as crazy as it seems. I can't believe it flew under the radar, at least again, for me. I think parts of the high-level community have been, like, playing around this bug since 38, but as someone who was not part of that, it only really came to my attention, like, right before 39 drops. Anyways, 1, 2, 0 spike just to guarantee you catch anything. It's a shame that I can't, because the platform's so tiny here. There's no room for a discount village unless I do an Arctic Wind platform, which I don't plan to do. The thing is, uh, um, Carpus Spikes doesn't get affected by attack speed buff, so uh, I don't think even Jungle Drums will uh, be of much use. The only help, once again, will be uh, if you want, like, the main spike to be stronger, but it really doesn't matter. The majority, uh, the, the only reason we'll go for Carpus Spikes is really uh, for that ability, the passive and the ability itself. Therefore, I think we'll live without the village. Speaking of village, I still think I will get one because uh, I do need a mid-game defense. I don't think I can save up, like, like all the way to Carver Select with just this defense. So the mid-game I was thinking of was just Comanche. I think, well, it, it, it's good enough. Enough said. Also for round 40, um, let's see what I need to beat this. Here's to see if Alpbuff and Mobshar does the job. Wouldn't that be something? No point using Psy ability because there's nothing. Actually, no, no. I could accumulate spikes if I do think that's probably... Nope. We just actually have to beat the Moab and... Psy OP. And let me see. I think I can thread the needle here. Two villages. Under double discount. Beautiful. Just enough pixels. I'll have to buy range on this one. So I truly get double discount. But now we're cooking. Chimps has never been easier. Thanks to uh, all these buffs that's being given. <laughs> I say that as I die to 47. I guess I'll just buy jungle jumps now. Quad darts too. I guess I'm hopeful too, because, uh, the missile. They add the missile just to make it, like, anti-mob so you don't stall for infinite rounds. But low-key, 
Missile is good for, well, damage. And it is enough to beat. 47, very cool. 49 might be a little bit tough without the uh, Comanche. A lot of Serams here. I'll use a Psy Stun here to see if I can uh, hold on. But this might be too many spikes for uh, our Spike Director. It is not. I guess because this time it actually had time to accumulate spikes. And after the Rainbow's here, easy. I think all this is all you need. I'll probably get a uh, Camel Village. And I think with that we can officially start saving up the $43,000 needed for uh, the carpet. Not to be a boomer of BT6, but I remember back in the day when Peninsula was uh, a pretty hard map to beat on Chimps. I think it took me quite a while to get my black border on it, beating Chimps in one run. I'll just wildly use my abilities here. It shouldn't really matter. Use a stun for wave 3, and... Should be good. Easy. Now, I haven't been playing this like a Blackwater run, as you see by the amount of times I've quote-unquote died and had to reset the round, but... I mean, with a little bit of modifications, or just looking ahead, you guys can also use this as a Black Border guide. Because I think once we get Carpet of Spikes, pretty much anything goes. Uh, as I said, the next 10 rounds will probably be the hardest. Little, if any, micro is actually needed for these rounds. I guess you could do Pursuit if you're lazy and don't want to, uh, you know, keep moving the heli pilot. But it's very simple on a single lane map. Nowadays, it doesn't matter how long the single lane map is, if it's a single lane map. True difficulty lies in, well, multiple lanes. Although, I guess that's always been the case, but, you know. Now with your money puddles. But, you know what I mean. So, 75 here is probably one of the harder rounds. Uh, I think I will use a Spike Storm to clear it out here. I don't know if I want to use level 10, level 10 side ability. I think that might be a little bit precious. Here comes the third Comanche. I think with three Comanches, we won't need it. Assuming they time out. Unless they time out, you know, at a bad time, but nope. Easy and... Easy, just making sure. I probably didn't even need it. The Druid here. The Rigo's everything. But look at that. I'll use a Spike Storm to beat the last five BFPs here, and... Uh, Carper Spikes is ours after we beat a little bit of this next wave. In fact, we actually get it before the wave comes in, and there we go. I will cross path, just because I don't think... Don't know if the uh, AMD has full up time. Now it's time to just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. I'm just gonna do uh, a little flex and see how much money I can save up with just the uh, 420 Alpha and Spikes. Just to show you the true power of it. Um, okay, maybe 81 there. Uh, that kind of looked a little bit sketchy, I guess, but remember, I still haven't used Spikes for ability. Right now we're just relying on the single passive, not even my Kareem Maya, Wolf Jeff 2. Because I guess I don't really need it. As I said earlier, though, anything goes. You could build any tier 5 at this point, and you'll probably survive, unless you go for, I don't know, a uh, Trade Empire or BMA. In that case, maybe not. Actually, BMA would help you. It just is always a bad idea in Chimps, because it'll lose you a lot of money. That's all. So how much do you think we can save up? 87 here is known to be a pretty dense and tough round, but look at that. Still holds off. Actually, shouldn't be too concerned if balloons do reach, like, all the way up here. it Because it's yet to reach the really, really tough part. Which is the uh, accumulation of just spikes. Look how fast it's shooting. It took many buffs and many updates to get this point. I think back when the game came out, Carpet Spikes was not any better. Like, the main attack was not any better than uh, the tier 4. It was like, all it had for itself was the ability. And the ability wasn't even good. I feel like I could say the same thing with, like, 10 different tier 5s. Back in update, like, 1.0 uh, until now. Like, replace Carpet Spikes with, like, Wizard Phoenix and the... Uh, Sentence would still hold true. Ah, uh, yes. How long of a way we've come. Uh, 91 here. Ooh, okay. We'll have to use an ability. How disastrous, guys. It's forcing me to do some micro. Just one spike stream, though, is all we need. Almost $50,000 now and counting. Once again, do not underrate Psy here. That passive came much of the time to beat 92, so I can save my ability. 93 is not dense, so no worries. This round is dense, so I think I'll just use... Uh, I think I'll use a Spike Storm ability here. It is needed. Maybe even a Psy Stun. I'm just kind of curious if it reaches. It does not reach. All right then. Well, uh, let's replay this and uh, okay, let's see here. I'll use a Psy Stun now, and then I will use my Spike Storm. Wait for it. How about now? And then you don't want to use level 10 Psy until all the Zoom Gs have popped to be because right now we don't have level 20. So just one more or two more actually. Before we can use it. Come on. Do I actually have to use it? So I might be able to be, like shake the insides. If it takes this long. Come on. Ah. 
So close. Well, I bet this upgrade, if I can place... Oh, I can't place it. No, I can. Okay, this upgrade will survive me way longer. And for every Jeep cost, more blue. Arguably the best support upgrade in chimps in the entire game, and for cheap. You can never go wrong with a Morp Glue. Maybe I might want to get a Mentoring for, like, I don't know, for it to hit here. But it hits me if he's already, so that's good. I'm just kind of flexing and seeing if I even need to use level 10 Psy. Or if Morp Glue is enough to make a difference here. Mm, I need I need to use Psy. Alright, no trolling here. Level 10 Psy, and that should end off the round. 95 here should be easy. Do I want to use a Spike Storm? Or can we hold? I'll, I'll use it, I'll use it. Looked a little bit tight there. 60,000 now. I did say you can't attack speed buff the Carpenter Spikes, but you can pierce buff it. So getting a Call to Arms wouldn't be a, a bad choice if I want to go all in on, you know, like this as main DPS. That I'll see if I want to do, or if I want to turn this into like a, maybe a least cash challenge. How much money can I save up with the Carpenter Spikes here? I will just go ahead and use level 10 here. Again, there's no harm because the ability isn't that long cool, and it'll probably come up by the time I end off 97. Yep, true. 98 here is without a doubt a level 10 side round, but again, I need to wait or try to wait for all ZMDs pop, which is going to be a problem because as you see, those FBPs are eating up. Lots and lots of RBE. Nope, I can't do it. Hmm, actually, I have an idea here. Since I don't since I'm just using the level 10 ability before ZMB's pop, what if I use it early to clear out, like, the clump of, uh, of BFE? So let me let me do the following. Wait for all the BFE to spawn like this. Use that. And then now the Spike Storm ability will be used pretty much solely for the ZMGs here. So I'll use it now. And let's see if, like, that density is easier to clean up. Only three ZMGs left. Man, if only, if only the level 3 Psy stun could work. It's closer. Not the cheapest thing I could do, but I'll just get a main mob because I already have the sniper drop down. That's gonna hurt. 10k down the drain. Look how much better it will be now. At least hopefully it will be. I think this time because I have a main mob, I'll just like wait for level 10. Or wait for ZMGs to pop to get level 10. Wait a minute, are we really not going to beat this with... Fine, I'll use level 10. Alright then, main mob did not make any difference at all. Wow. You know what? I'm done with Lee's cash, so let's just get a super glue. Don't care. So now there's absolutely zero chance we will lose to this. Zero. Trust me. I think I should get mentoring to give it even more range of the right side. Let me just see if it can... If, if beat mobs get this far, can it glue mobs? If not, I will... I'll, I'll buy mentoring. I need it. Does it... It still doesn't reach, does it? Wow. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. I guess... As long as it hits BFPs... That's fine. I suppose. I actually still can't believe that we're, we, we'd be dead if we didn't have level level 10 tie ability. So we did it first try, but that still wasn't easy. <laughs> Even with buying a whole nother tier 5. Well, either way, it still holds the theme of uh, the uh, glue or the carpet spikes being our uh, main DPS. Let's finish this off now. Carpet spike should have no problem dealing with the bad. And it's insides and GG. Let's take a look real quick. At what got the pops? Half of them. Carver Spikes, 469 on Psy, 338 on the uh, Comanche. As a bonus, because we have this this much money, we'll just see how, how deep in the free play we can get Um, after this next attempt here. You know what? Let's just get a Spear of the Forest. If we're just talking about stuff that does a gargantuan amount of damage, then I think a Spear of the Forest affecting the entire map and able to one shot some Cerams occasionally. I don't know. Sounds like a solid duo. So I guess we'll just take this to 110. And. Uh, well, I'll see if that's possible or not. Anyways, I gotta say our uh, Spear of the Force is paying off dividends. Already 300k pops. Look how quickly it's getting pops. That alleviates the pressure from our Carp Spikes here. 10,000, 20,000. I might still need to use level 10 side to end this off. Or am I good? Nope, I'm good, but barely. <laughs> Sheesh. And yay, we officially hit level 20 size. So that's uh, in itself a huge power spike. I think because of that, Psy is going to uh, just zip on by the uh, Carver Spikes pop count. Just stealing everything, isn't it? Yep, it already popped. It already passed it. 1.6 now. So I think the only takeaway from this is don't actually make Carver Spikes your main DPS. Because it's still, even with the buff, it's not meant to be a DPS option. I think it's just meant to be, well, mostly single target slash strong balloons. Uh, but I gotta say, a pair of wallet stuff that just eats up 
big amount of balloons as you see. Spirit of the Forest already at 1.2. Catching up real fast. I will just use level 20 here to end it off. Damn, we've gone so deep into free play that we've now passed the amount of money that I saved up, like, early in the game on round 98. $80,000. Jeez. I could maybe even take this past 120 here because we have so much money that we could just get another power spike with a massive tier 5. Like, which one would that be? I doubt we could save it this much, but it'd be amazing if I could somehow save for, like, I don't know, maybe a super mind or a flying fortress at that. Let's see. Also, Copper Specs is, is, is good enough to beat the bad layers of 119. Good to know. I can't believe it. I actually think we're going to hit the 6-digit mark after this round here. You know what? I'll just use level 20 here. That's a lot of beefies. Watch how much we make from this one pop. Because they all pop in unison. 90,000 to 100,000. And I think with that, we can actually afford a big plane if we really wanted to. Do I just use level 20 here to end off this round? Nope. I'll just use Spike Storm, man. We're good. Um, this round is prime candidate for a level 10, level 20 ability. Back up to 105k. Sheesh, 108. This one, this round's really hard. So, uh, it might be time to buy something here. And it, it, indeed it is. Restarting the round actually loses you the spikes. Actually, it's back now, so maybe not. I think regardless, we're dead, though. There's just too much HP. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot buy Flame Fortress. It is even more expensive than I thought, sadly. You know what? I'm done thinking. How about just a Balloon Crush straight up with Camo being a reactor? Now this just guarantees I beat everything up to round 140. It actually still leaked, so maybe I'll do an Alpha to make it shoot a little bit faster. Sure. Is it good now? Surely it doesn't leak now, right? It indeed does not leak. Alright, cool. Don't mind me. Just setting the stall slider all the way to 100. Take a look at the pops once again. Sai has just run away with everything. Tripling the pops of the carpet spikes. Given the looks of this, I could actually go all day here. So I think I'll truly call it at, you know, 140. 138 here is also no joke. Let me just make sure if anything leaks. Use level 10, but I think we beat it all. Nice. I almost certainly know I don't have enough DPS here. So I will just uh, get some first strikes. How about three of them here for the F-pad? One. Two. Oh, crap. It actually might not be enough. Okay, this, this one's pretty tanky. I think it might truly be over. The other alternate method would be Cripple Moabing to get the Carpet Spikes more damage, but I don't think that's any better. Nope. All right, I think we dead end here. Last try with Mobilim, I guess. Mobilim and one first strike BC. Even with that 4500, every so often, not even close. So either way, good run. I did get a little carried away there. But I don't know. It was fun to play around with, like, having that much money saved up, especially on an advanced chimps map. Won't keep you here any longer, though, so that's it. See ya.